What's up guys, Baker here. Today I am back with a very exciting tutorial. Uh, today I made this um, super easy, automatic, smooth transition plug-in preset kind of thing. Um, basically what it was is uh, I took the transitions from my Sunny Skate Edit and turned it into an automatic plug-in preset thing with expressions and all this cool stuff to make these super easy automatic transitions just for you. Let's go ahead and check it out. So first I got this awesome skate clip and then uh, another cool clip and I want to put a transition in between them. So that's cool and all but let's add some you know some life to this edit. So let's check it out. First you want to go to the uh, description and download the little uh, preset thing. It's an FFX file and all you gotta do is go to your documents, Adobe, After Effects, user presets, drag that into there pretty much anywhere. Uh, it might be somewhere for uh, PC, but I'm not sure. So you can ask someone else or look it up. But yeah, just download that, place it right in, you're done. Let's check it out. First, let's make a new adjustment layer and let's search up Baker easy transition alright let's drag that in so I've seen a lot of tutorials on like uh, I think this is called Venzition or whatever and they always have like a ton of keyframes and they always do it on the the uh, the layers themselves and I don't like that I like adjustment layers and let's see how many keyframes we got so ignore the uh, expressions but wow four keyframes and that controls everything so let's see how it works. First you want to go to the first frame where the next clip starts right here and take your keyframes and just make sure the third one which is the second of these two next to each other line up with the first frame of the next clip just like that. That's pretty much it. We're done. So let's uh, RAM preview and see what we got here. Nothing. Alright perfect. That's because we didn't uh, enter any values. So watch how easy this is. This is awesome. Ready? Scale strength. I got a little edit tag for you here. Let's do 100. Looks kind of cool. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Whoa. That was easy. What happens if I do negative 100? Let's check it out. Maybe it zooms out. Whoa. Automatic so easy so smooth maybe you can do 400 I don't know you might need to change the uh, the motion tile I left it at I think 300 just so it can render a little fast but play with this value and it just changes how extreme the zoom in uh, is so let's set that back to 100 and what about rotation maybe 45 degrees oh sorry scale change it back down to zero because that means no scale so 45 degrees for the rotation let's see what happens whoa it rotated super easy smooth wait a minute what if I do both that's right it'll zoom and rotate automatically all together wow this is this is something else I'm not gonna lie um, here's another cool thing. Let's go back to uh, scale real quick. So you see how it uh, just scales straight in. Oh, scale needs to be 100. Sorry. Scale just uh, goes straight in like that. What if, wait for it, what if I go to transform? So if we change the anchor point to something over here, like let's say this wall, make sure your offset is turned off for this, uh, for any scale, by the way. Uh, let's RAM preview and watch what happens. Wow. Zooms in to the side. That is so cool. Alright, what else we got here? So we also got some uh, slide strength. So let's change the scale back down to zero. And let's slide it maybe 960 and 540. Let's see what happens and change your offset back to on and it slides 
that's cool. And let's say I wanted this to be, I don't know, 4,000. We can do that too. Now it doesn't make sense because the guy's going the other way, so maybe, you know, negative. So everything is just automatic and super cool. And if you want some motion blur, what you can do is use these on off uh, switches to turn on rotational blur, zoom blur, and directional blur. So, direction you want to use for any time you're doing a slide. And we need to set the blur strength to something, I don't know, like 25. And you can see that the, uh, the screen gets blurred as it slides. Very nice. So, let's reset that and let's uh, try another blur just to see. How this works. Let's turn on rotational blur and now I need to rotate let's say 90 degrees. So it's going to start rotating and we got some spinny blur. That's cool. Let's turn off rotation and maybe scale. Back up to scale and let's see what happens and maybe my uh, my zoom blur is not on. Let's turn that back on and maybe increase this a little bit. So you got some automatic blurs here. Now if you're doing two things at once, like scaling and rotation or scaling and you know uh, sliding, you don't want to use multiple blurs at the same time because it just gets you know too blurry and doesn't look good. So I also included real smart motion blur, which does uh, automatic blurring no matter how this is moving. So you can have a lot of you know custom custom things going on spinning and scaling and some cool stuff like that. That doesn't look too good, but uh, it will once it's you know fully rendered and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. All you're really playing with is the scale strength, zoom in and out, rotation, spinning, X slide, Y slide, and then blur strength if you want it, or just use your real smart motion blur. And um, one more thing, maybe motion tile, change the output width because if you scale too much, let, let's say 300, uh, you will see some black edges and you want to you know, avoid that. So let me turn off my real smart motion blur, see like that. So you might need to increase that. If you want, you can change the anchor points of the transform if you want to do a scale from the side or straight in the middle. Things like that, pretty cool. Uh, I want to do a brief explanation of you know how I set this up if you guys ever wanted to create your own presets um, which reminds me of one more thing I want to mention if the speed of this is not to your liking you can go to this curve editor slider graph editor and then uh, you know just play with the handles so you can take this make it I don't know some weird shape maybe a slower zoom in or a fade in. That'll look really bad, but you know. Whoa. Whoa. You get the idea. You can make this all custom or just keep it how you want. You know, change the timing, whatever. So basically, I took this slider and went from 0 to negative 1 to 1 to 0, and then used all of these expressions to transform that into things like rotation or scale. Scale was the hardest one because this is some weird like uh, 2 to the negative xy over 100 power times 100. I don't know. Some crazy equations here to transform uh, you know these values into anything you want. But I think it's pretty cool. All you need to do is change one or two values and you have an easy transition and uh, you, of course, you can just you know trim your adjustment layer, and then if you want it again, duplicate, slide it over, you're done. All automatic, all perfectly smooth, fully customizable, super easy, and yeah, I just I'm proud of this little thing I made the other night, and hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to uh, like and favorite this video, download the plugin, comment if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, you know, show us uh, your edits you used with this little preset. Really guys, hope you enjoyed, learned something new, uh, feel free to read through the expressions to see kind of what I was doing, and um, yeah, alright, peace!